Hi friends! Yesterday, we used the analogy of conductors and resistors to think about how we either conduct or resist the flow of God's Spirit through us and into the world. This morning, I thought about channeling my inner Julius Sumner Miller and doing a science experiment. If you don't remember Julius Sumner Miller, then maybe Bill Nye the Science Guy is a more contemporary reference. And if you don't know either of them, well, just never mind. <laughs> Did you know that if you pass an electrical current through a pickle, that it glows? Well, as I was doing my research about how to do this experiment, every single article I read had two warnings. <laughs> The first is, don't try this at home. <laughs> and the second is, beware of the stench. So rather than taking the chance of electrocuting myself and making everyone in the building nauseous, <laughs> let me just tell you about it. When you pass an electrical current through an ordinary dill pickle, it gives off light. The electricity puts energy into the electrons of the sodium ions, the salt content of the pickle. When those electrons restabilize, some of their energy is emitted in a yellow light that glows through the skin of the pickle. Now, it doesn't really matter if you understand the science or not. The point is, if God can make a pickle glow, Imagine what God could do through you. Many people believe that the flow of the Holy Spirit is reserved for spiritual giants like Mother Teresa or Billy Graham. But throughout history, God has caused his power to flow through the most unlikely people. A fugitive named Moses, a shepherd named David, a teenager named Mary, a farm boy named Casey, a teacher named Debbie, a doctor named Bob, a pilot named Charles, a policeman named Mike, a home health aide named Bev, a student named Will, a bus driver named Bruce, a pianist named Gail, a church named Centenary. The flow of the Holy Spirit is for each and every one of us. The ordinary becomes extraordinary when filled with the power of God. So the next time you feel inadequate or maybe not very gifted, remember that even a pickle can glow if it stays plugged into the current. It's God's job to send the flow, the current of the Holy Spirit into our lives. When we have thoughts that prompt us to express love, to celebrate inner joy, to be at peace, to practice patience, to show kindness, to give generously, to control our selfish desires, all of these are surges of the Spirit's current. Our job is to be a conductor rather than a resistor and to pray with sincerity, your will be done, not mine. When we receive what God offers and give what God asks, then we become conduits of God's Holy Spirit. And every moment, no matter how seemingly insignificant in which we choose to channel God's Spirit, the closeness of God is revealed to us and to the people and the world around us. Every moment is an opportunity for us to conduct the flow of current that can change the world from darkness to light. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again soon.